so not very often I do unbagging videos, but here I am. If you guys have watched my last video, at the end of that video I kind of explained how both my GoPros really aren't working anymore. Now right now I am working on getting two new GoPros. That way when I am just out on the water I am not messing with GoPros for like half an hour. I can just hit record, not worry about it, and just start fishing. That is part of the reason why I'm actually not fishing today. I didn't want to mess with my broken GoPros. So I decided because I went to Bass Pro not too long ago, I would just film an unbagging video instead. That being said, tomorrow I am going out and I'm trying to film a video with my bad GoPros. We'll see how that goes. But in today's video, not only do I have an unbagging, but I also have another giveaway to do. Nobody has claimed this Vision 110 yet. Now this Vision 110 is a limited edition color. I think it's called Cyber Illusion. It is. And Fat Boy Fishing won this bait originally and he never claimed it. Then I gave it away to Mortana. He or she never claimed it either. So this is the last chance to uh, win this bait. Honestly, the first person who hits me up on my Instagram, at Nate Andersh, will win this bait right here. With that being said, I'm not going to respond to everybody's messages, only the first person to hit me up. If I don't hit you up, that just means that you didn't win. But yeah, first person to hit me up on my Instagram will win this bait right here. Now, moving on to the unbagging. Have quite a bit of stuff to go over from Bass Pro Shops. Starting off with one of my favorite Senko style baits. This is the Power Bait Max Scent General. Now I use these worms almost every tournament I fish, so I did have to kind of restock on some green pumpkin. Actually, all four of these packages are just all green pumpkin color. And each package comes with eight generals, and the package itself is $8.99. Now it is rather expensive because you can just get net bait Sankos for like $2.99. Honestly, I truly do think these work better than a lot of the other Sankos out on the market. And I really do think it has something to do with that scent. Now, I don't really believe that scent plays a major role with largemouth, but I definitely think it does with smallmouth. So we'll take it quickly out of the package. And like I said, this is a Berkeley Maxent General, and it definitely smells really bad, but kind of in a good way. I really do think the fish really do like the smell of this bait. Now, typically the way I fish these five inch generals is a wacky rig. 99% of the time, this is the setup I use for a wacky rig. This is a medium power St. Croix Premier rod. It's a seven foot rod and I have a Shimano Stratic on it. And uh, this is the hook I use. It's an Owner Mosquito Light one-aught hook. And I have that tied to a 10 pound leader. And then I believe this is 14 pound braid for mainline. Obviously you don't have to wacky rig this bait to make it effective. You could Texas rig it if you wanted to. And honestly, you could even drop shot it down in like 20 feet of water just to kind of give the fish a little bit different of a presentation maybe they haven't seen before. All right, so let's stick with that Berkeley Max Scent theme. God, I hate that beeping noise. I gotta fix that. But these honestly might be my favorite soft plastics of all time. These are the four and a quarter inch flatworms. And I have two colors. One is Smelt and one is Gobi. Gobi actually is my favorite flatworm color. The four and a quarter inch is my favorite flatworm size. They make two sizes, the 3.6 and the four and a quarter. And I definitely do like this slightly larger size, but I don't really want to take them out of the package just because they stink. But uh, this Gobi color is a green pumpkin with gold, purple, and black fleck in it. And these flatworms right here, I basically exclusively drop shot. I will put them on a net every once in a while, but the majority of the time I'll put this on a drop shot. Now, 
like 99% of the time, this is my drop shot rod. It's a St. Croix Premier medium light power rod, so a little bit lighter action than my Wacky Worm rod. Again, I have a Shimano Stratic, same size. And sometimes I will use the same hook as the Wacky rig, but right now I just have this one. This is a Trocar hook. And this is the hook that I use for like longer worm style baits. Like if I'm drop shotting a little two, three inch swim bait, then I'll use the same as the Wacky Rig. Now because I'm going to be drop shotting a salamander, I believe, the next time I go out, that's why I decided to use this hook with a longer shank. Longer shank, that's just going to allow my bait to stay more horizontal in the water column with that more kind of mosquito light owner hook. That's gonna give it more of like a free range motion. But when I'm using like a full size salamander, I don't really want that. I want that salamander to most of the time stay as horizontal as possible, just to make it more natural. So this is the last Berkeley Maxent package I bought. And this is the seven inch Magnum Hitworm in green pumpkin color. I bought this just because big long worms work awesome in the summertime and i really thought this bait right here would look would work awesome as a nico rig and all a nico rig is is basically the same as a wacky rig all you do is add a nail weight to the head of the worm and it's kind of like a cross between a wacky worm and almost a shaky head actually that's what they say to uh, use this worm with is a shaky head but i don't know i thought maybe putting this on a texas rig and Fishing it in deep water for big largemouth sounds like a good idea. Moving on to the last soft plastics I bought. These are Gary Yamamoto Swim Senkos. And I bought one in five and a half inches and then one in five inches. Now my go-to is in five inches. Typically that's all I buy and I and I specifically use this as a chatterbait trailer, really nothing else. I just think it looks amazing on the back of a chatterbait. But um, I saw this bigger size here. And I figured if I could use this bigger five and a half inch size on one of the bigger chatterbaits, I think it's called like a big blade or something like that. This has potential to look pretty cool, especially if you're going for like pike or something like that. But this is the size difference between just the five and five and a half inch. So it doesn't seem like much, but the profile for the five and a half inch is a lot bigger than the five inch. Now the reason why I like throwing this on the back of a chatterbait is because you do kind of get that kicking action of that boot tail, but it does not really mess up the vibration of the chatterbait. Now, if I think if I were to use this bigger swim Senko on like a quarter or three eighth ounce Z-Man chatterbait, I think this tail would just thump a little bit too hard and kind of mess up the vibration of the chatterbait. But that's why I want to use this on a big blade for pike. I think a chatterbait is a highly underrated bait for pike. All right, so moving on to the hard baits. I picked this up from Bass Pro Shops. And speaking of pike, that's what I'm gonna be using this bait for. I believe this bait was only like 15 or $16. So not very expensive if I lose it to a pike. What's cool is it does come with an extra tail. I thought that was pretty neat. And the paint job really isn't that bad the only color that they had left the color is called foiled shad and this glide bait right here is seven inches so kind of like the best length in my opinion not too small to where you're going to attract some of the small fish but also not too big where you catch like a four or five pound pike that glide bait is pretty heavy so i would definitely throw that bait on at least a heavy rod with a reel that's going to be able to handle it now I have a Shimano Trinx 300, and this is my 711 Dobbins Fury rod. A 65 pound braid with that. Now that is what I would use with that glide bait. 
that combo, I should have no issues throwing that all day long. Moving on to what could potentially be one of my new favorite spinner baits. I really haven't used it enough yet to say that for sure. But uh, Bass Pro in my area just started selling these six cent spinner baits in store. And uh, they're not very expensive either. I believe they're only $8.99, which is equivalent to a War Eagle, which is my favorite spinner bait. But I had a couple issues with my War Eagle spinner baits to where they were snapping on me. So I kind of wanted to venture out and look for a different spinner bait. And when I saw these, I was like, oh, those are cool. I really like the realistic head on these spinner baits. This color is called Lavender Shad which is basically just like a purple and white, really cool. And then this one is called Bone Truce Pearl. So just kind of like a chartreuse pearl color. Both of these are three eighths of an ounce. A very good overall size, good from the bank, good from a boat. Because those baits are only three eighths of an ounce, you can get away with throwing them on literally like any medium heavy rod you want to, and even some mediums. So moving on to the last couple of things. These are just small underspins. Are the Rattlin Google Eye Spinner Jigs from Kalins, and they're a quarter of an ounce. This would work great for small mouth or large mouth. And I gotta hurry this up, my battery's about to die. All right, so the last thing I bought were these weights from Bass Pro Shop. Now in New Hampshire, lead is illegal, so I have to go with tungsten. And I bought two one ounce weights and I got a pretty good deal on them. I believe they were only like $8 on sale. But in New Hampshire, we really don't have a lot of opportunities to fish really thick cover. But uh, there are a few ponds that I know where this one ounce weight will come in handy and really help me punch through the thick mats on top of the water. Okay, so that is it for this unbagging. And remember, first person to hit me up on my Instagram gets that jerk bait. And if I don't respond, you didn't win. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.